You know, random question for you. Is there anything that they all have in common? Like when that bullet hit, mm -hmm. if they're still alive past that moment, mm -hmm. is there anything that all of them tend to do? Yep. Really? Yeah. They never die with their eyes closed. They die in a state of shock. I've never seen a person... In the movies, people die and they close their eyes. Mm -hmm. I've never, ever, ever seen someone with their eyes closed, ever. It's the, in my opinion, it looks like the look of when the bullet does hit. It's that, it's a scared look. It's an empty, scared, eyes wide open, mouth open, I'm scared look, terrifying. But I've never seen the close my eyes, death, no. So nobody, I mean, as much as, you know, they believe in what they believe in, you said many of them believe in Allah, and if this is supposed to happen to me, it's going to happen to me. Despite all that, the look in their face says something different. Oh, I'm my. freaking terrified. Terrifying. Like, uh, yeah, terrifying. Everybody who I've ever seen die has died with a terrifying, scared look. Never one of peace or anything. No, it's always been scared. Even our guys, yeah. It's terrifying. I don't know if it's because of the pain or my belief, I think they see something. That's what it looks like. But whatever they see is not here. They look past you when they're dying. I've watched a guy die from, in my hands, not an enemy guy, but mm -hmm, one mm -hmm. of our guys, helped carry a dead body out. Man, yeah, it's the same look. Same look. You know, it's interesting. You said they see, they're looking past you. Yeah. So you don't even believe whatever they're seeing is earthly. No. It's no. not, yo, damn, I've just been shot. I know I'm about to leave my fiance. I got three kids back home. It's not that look. No, no. It's a look of, I don't know, the unknown maybe, going somewhere that, I don't know. It's just a look of, it, it looks scary to me. It looks scary. And it could be if, you, if your life isn't right at that moment, that's the look, you know? Mm -hmm. That's the look. If it, it's not right, I don't know. And I don't think any of us ever get it right, so. And I also have a belief that we all have to go to the underworld when we die, you know? Okay, if you're a elaborate. Christian. What the hell does that mean? The underworld? Hell. Who, what, no, I, I know what the underworld oh, is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Elaborate on the fact why you believe we all have to go there. Because the guy that I think we're supposed to walk in his path to a degree, or we're supposed to walk into in his path, he went there as well too. He went there too. Yep, yeah, yeah, you got you. Okay. So if 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 we're gonna live in his image or walk in his path, why would why would we not be subject to that too? You know? It's an interesting thought process. Yeah. If the most high sent his son, why wouldn't he send us, you know, to experience that? I think that hell is a a place like Earth is a is a big test to get to the next place, and there, it's hell, fire, and in the in the military we say, you need to be baptized by fire, a bap baptism by fire, meaning, you know, uh, being in combat, being in war. Uh, I think for us it's the same way too. In order, because we don't come, we don't leave this Earth unscathed and and a hundred percent clean. So to wash off all that bad stuff your spiritual baptism and fire. And once that's clear, once that's washed away, then you might have a chance to, whatever you believe in, go. Gates. Yeah, there you go, yeah.